Hey guys, welcome to Table Talk. This is not energy, this right? Is not. That's what we're yeah, doing. you got energy, right? No, yes. <laughs> Yay! Hey guys, um, welcome to Table Talk. This is a show where we talk about topics that you submit via the hashtag Table Talk. I was almost said hashtag Twitter. On Twitter. Ooh, don't Gosh, use that. we are messed up today. Yeah. Or on the Reddit.com slash r slash horsefed. See, we're all uncomfortable uh, because we're very nervous because Mike Fells is here. Well, that's not the only reason why. We actually shot a sex scene today, Trisha. We did, that's we true. Steve and I shot a sex scenes. scene today. We did a... One of you is very naked and the other one was not. Yeah. yeah. Well, probably the one you didn't want. They'll think it's the opposite from that. They'll but. want the one yeah. to be Let's leave it open-ended. Leave it open-ended. <laughs> but How Mike Belzone's yeah. here, guys! Yay! Yay! Can I tell you something? I was cheered for twice last time I was here. Yeah. And it made me as uncomfortable as it made me this time. You don't like being cheered for? Mm -hmm. Not when there's only three of us. If there Why? were like 300,000 of you guys, that well, would, we'll I would We'll get the editors that. to duplicate it. Do you ever cheer about things in your house? Like yeah. when you're by yourself, so you're Absolutely. like, oh my god, chocolate cake, yay! If I had chocolate cake, I'd still be cheering. Or like, yeah, there's no blood on my stool this time, yay! Oh. The cleanest stools in my house. Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. Did you dye this? I did dye it. I wasn't, I'm not naturally. Did little, you get I thought you were rogue. Let me real. ask you this. Like in real life. <laughs> you can you touch me and just follow Let <laughs> me ask you in a personal question. Did you get scared real bad in as a kid and it question? made this one? Yes. <laughs> also that. <laughs> really it was bored and my girlfriend's a hairdresser. I like it. So I've always liked okay. it. Okay. Thank you very much. I think it's really cool. Very few people don't like it to my face. Do you think there are people that don't like it to your face? Probably. It is LA. People don't like everything. Who wouldn't like that? People in LA will Who's tell got you a problem with that? that they this like isn't... everything about you even when they don't. I like to think that the people who don't like it, they mm -hmm. pass me on the street and they're like, oh, that doesn't affect my life at all. And then they don't <laughs> decide to outwardly really disclose their feelings. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Fair enough. I think it's That's great. Right. When's the last time you went to the East Coast? Very recently. A uh, week and a half ago. Did anyone tell you they didn't like it then? Everyone there. Did they really? Like, You've changed. And I'm like, I've been trying to tell you that for a year and a half. <laughs> I was going to say, if they don't tell you on the East Coast, then you're good. They'll make fun of me. Like, my friends will make fun of me, but this, I just give them easy things to make fun of. When's the last time you were in a Kmart? <laughs> so many questions. Uh, <laughs> 1998. Like, for sure? Ooh. Yeah, what were you I doing in there? We don't have Kmart. I think we have Kmarts, but I'm not in there probably looking for wrestling related things. I like that. Or that makes me peanut happy. butter or whatever. Aww. Yeah. You don't go to Kmart for peanut butter, do you? I don't you? know what you go to. How well, many, that just proves it. I don't know what you go to. How many rings for. do you have at home that have the elastic bands for your wrestlers? Which home? My LA home yeah, or my Yeah. Your LA home. Zero. But zero uh, rings. Your other home, your at parents least two. home. Okay, cool. At the very least. <laughs> I like that. What do you yeah. think about mankind? <laughs> In general. Yeah. <laughs> or the wrestler. Both. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm for both of them. I'm, Great. I'm for the, the future of both of them. Great. All right. Would you well, like let's to see this Yeah. Sure. Like, get in there. Is that you? what you were trying to do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> A seemingly normal looking stranger approaches you on the street and says, tomorrow's winning lottery numbers are 3, 15, 88, 4. Do you buy a ticket? First Hell of all, yeah. Is that enough? Are those, are those enough numbers? I don't know. I don't play the lottery. I thought it was like Do seven you? numbers. No, this guy also doesn't play the lottery. <laughs> Cause, wait, because isn't because like in, in Lost it was four, eight, sixteen, twenty-three, thirty-two. I love so much that you know that from Lost and I not think from it, the lottery. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I think it, I think that's it, right? Four, eight, sixteen, twenty-three. Maybe 32. you could split some of these up and use them in other. How many places. are there in there? There's several. Like, okay. he put zero three, for example. That might not be enough lottery It might be numbers. a different kind of lottery. Because states have different ones. Maybe in his state, oh, that's what sure. it looks like. Yeah. I could be wrong, too, though. So, I don't know. The Pennsylvania state one. Do they all do the weird ping pong balls? The Pennsylvania state one, they, like, blow these ping pong balls up through a little tube. And I, think they, I think they I think they still do Do they it? all do I that? I think they still do, yeah. You know what I would do? I would hear this, and mm -hmm. I'd go buy a scratch off. I'd be like, well, oh, you would have in the middle a little bit. Oh, I really? would totally yeah. buy the lottery ticket and like hope with everything in my body that it would win. I would too. Even if the numbers didn't match up? Even if there weren't enough? If the yeah. numbers didn't add up, I would like add my birthday to the end well, of the number, If the numbers something. didn't add up, then I'd be like, all right, well, this guy was full of shit. I'm just going to get a scratcher now. <laughs> you hear him like three steps down the street being yeah. like, hey, you, new stranger. <laughs> <laughs> new numbers for tomorrow. <laughs> tell everybody different numbers. <laughs>
That's Wait, one thing to so just they can do all collect day. together and then try to do try to assemble it. Yeah, you have to find all the strangers. <laughs> that yeah. So guys, so uh, like a we can, you gotta do it. You gotta launch this. So baby. this moves up and down. Oh, okay. That's part of the strategy. Do that a couple more times so we can get a nice get to, gif whoop. on the internet. Can you, <laughs> there you go. Can I be seen with this giant? This ball is in the way? Uh, some insight into the sex scene we filmed today. Yes, it is. Just a little. <laughs> this is exactly what happened. We used protection. We sure did. What do you think all of this is? This is falling apart. That that is uh, not whoa, whoa very overshot. That is not real leather, is what that is, Steve. Yeah, it, it flakes off after. How old is that jacket? <laughs> well, it's actually Will's jacket. And how old? How long has he Will said had he's it? had it since he was eighteen? That so makes two, sense. It's a two-year-old jacket. He said. Oh, it's not. Yeah, I was just gonna say a long time. Nope, not for Will. Not for um, Will. But yeah, that's what happens when fake leather gets like old and wet and crinkly. Yeah. Can it be re-leathered? That isn't the first time you've ruined that jacket, though. <laughs> you know, that's what he says. Yeah. But like, if it's already this badly messed Steve, up, Steve, don't know. It's getting worse. Yeah, you're making it worse. What makes? Yeah, you can't make it better by making it worse. It's not a wreck. This journal. It's a. It's a jacket. It's I a mean, but like, jacket. let's say he was gonna wear. It. First of all, this jacket was in the source bed dressing room. That means it's fair game. Which means for it's fair game. Out there. Just okay. want everybody. It's no know. longer Will's jacket. It's source bed's jacket. Second of all, uh, <laughs> when you put your arm down on anything here. It's just destroying in the jacket. So even sure. if you, even even if it wasn't me wearing it, like Trisha, let's have you try the jacket on. Okay. Next, and we'll see if it also does the same to you. Can you give me the jacket? You want it right now? I do. I'd like to try it on. Please. We'll be right back after this. There's one person taking off the jacket, giving it to another person wearing the jacket. She's not yet where there's the handoff now. Then Steve sits back down and wipes the asbestos off of his pants. Here comes Trisha. There is Steve. The jacket switched the places. I rather like this jacket. <clears throat> it's a nice jacket, right? It's, it's got a pin of Jonathan Lennon on it. I feel like I can't have the sunglasses on my head with the jacket, though. It's a different. Too many accessories. It's I was gonna ask thing. you a question, mm -hmm. and it and um, cause the 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 question of like you know if a stranger came up to you and something mysterious happened, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, you know, what, what would you do? I always like it when that question's asked, but I'm gonna switch the tables up a little bit here, and I'm gonna... Not turn the table. I'm gonna You're switch gonna them. Completely switch <laughs> I'm gonna switch them. This table's gonna be square when you, when you open it up. What would you do, Mike? And then, Trisha, I'll, I'll present you with this as well, but okay. I'm curious about Mike, because Mike's our guest today. <laughs> You're curious about me out of obligation. Out of obligation. No, because I <laughs> these are the kind of things I ask Trisha all the time. Trisha, yeah, he already knows what I'm Trisha's gonna say. Trisha's in all the weird shit that I do, and she's already used to it. Yeah, Steve so. can predict what my answer will be. Yeah, so, so Mike, I wanna ask you, mm -hmm. what would you do, because we're friends, we've yeah. hung out several times now. Enough to call each other friends. Yeah, enough sure. to call each other friends. So, what would you do if we were hanging out? Let's say out here in the parking lot of SourceFed, I was walking you out to your car, and I was like, thanks for coming, man. I really appreciate you coming by, and it was great to see you. And I give you a big hug, and then, uh, and sorry, <laughs> and I give you a big hug, and then you're like, oh, cool, man. Well, we gotta hang out. We'll do that podcast we were talking about, whatever, you, whatever else you wanna do. Yeah. And then I was like, cool, man. My time here is done. <laughs> and then I look up into the sky, and I shoot up into the sky as fast as possible. Like yeah. this like is a, the end? Yeah, like almost like this is the end. But, but I, and I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you do? What would you do? Would what you, would be, like, I'm not, no more jokes. Okay. No jokes. No bits. What would, no bits. What would your course of action <laughs> From the moment I disappear up into space, <laughs> what so would it be? The so the we're starting it from you disappearing. Yes, we're not like starting you just it from watched. My time here is done. Because if no. you looked yeah, in yeah, the yeah, eyes yeah. and said, "My time here is done," and you start in motion, <laughs> I didn't space, even do that. No I Superman. didn't even motion. Okay. No Superman. Hands. I'm saying, should just we have up. started from there? I would have tried to grab a shoelace or something and. When God with, with you. Because you wanted to come with me. I would like to at least see what's going on. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not what I'm asking. <laughs> you. She I would know, fall no, off and that. you would plan I'm asking, that would be I'm asking you. I'm asking you. What would happen? <laughs> what would you, Mike Falzone, do? I want to know from the, if from I the stand up, like, will the camera still see me? Because I could show that's you. That's a exactly great question. What Your head do. might be out. Okay. okay. Wait, this we're is, gonna adjust. We don't need to. I could just do it in a, from a squatting position. Don't do more work than you need to. I okay. would go like this. If it were just me, my car's right here. Yeah. All right. I really <laughs> like the idea of going home. So I'd be like, Steve is um. <laughs> And then I'd get in my car and I'd go home. I'd look around because you weren't around. No one else is around. Right. I would I would look around to see if there was anyone. You would no audibly would out loud me. say, "Steve is yeah." Uh, I'd be like, Steve is you guys. <laughs> no one's around. And then home. 
<laughs> oh my god. What would you, you do? Like seriously, you wouldn't go inside, like you wouldn't stand there in disbelief for a moment. It's one of my, I know that you're not supposed to say this because people rip you apart in the comments, but it's one of my first days here. Right? <laughs> right. Okay. People hate when you say that, apparently. But I would be under the impression that everyone else who's inside and has been here several times, are, like, you do this every day. Where's Steve's car? Didn't see it. Oh, that makes sense now, because that's how he gets to work. Oh, so, so you think that we would already know that he does this every day? I would assume. Wait, wh okay. you really? Like, let's, like, I'm serious. <laughs> like, real life. What is wrong with my answer? I think, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? Oh, man, I did poop myself. <laughs> I would boot myself. Look how happy it makes him. Just I the mean, thought of you booting I just, yourself. I just, <laughs> like, cause, cause me, I would like Steven. call a doctor or I would call the police. What would you a doctor you were do? Crazy? I would you like, call the doctor? I so would. A doctor shows up. He has his little stethoscope. <laughs> That's exactly. This what is what I would do. Is. So let's say roles are reversed. Yeah. Mike Falzone rockets up into space. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Mike. Yeah, my time here. I would. <laughs> first of all, I'd be like, "Holy shit, that's not possible. Humans don't do that." Out loud? Yeah, out loud. <laughs> of course, I'd say You'd it out be loud. Be Snapchatting it. <laughs> I hate you. He was just right here. <laughs> like I would, I would have probably Snapchatted that moment. That's how often I Snapchat. Mm. But like, I would be. You would not have the reflexes to Snapchat that moment. You're right. I, My you're time right. here is done. Hold on one sec. <laughs> no, right. you'd be would. gone already. No, yeah. you would go. He would stand there and just believe for a second. Then he'd take out his phone and go, "Oh my God." Guys, yeah. Blake Falzone was just here. He was just here. I would right. probably spend the rest of my life <laughs> trying to figure out what happened to you. Why wouldn't you just ask me next time we hung well, out? Well, because that's the part I didn't I didn't get to. I never come back. <laughs> no one ever sees me again. Okay, so You're the last person on earth to ever see. So then see yeah. I have the job of telling everyone yeah. I go inside You the have situation. to tell oh, everyone. He said his time here is done. <laughs> I would still be I totally normal. I just took off about into it. the sky. Yeah, and then he went up. And like you wouldn't that. be worried about any of us thinking you were not. He said his time here was done. He had a little smile on his face as he was going up. It's not a huge deal. He had a little <laughs> smile on his face. Right? I assume he's home. Hold on. Let's say my mom, oh Estella my Zaragoza, <laughs> wants to be. What a perfect name, your mom. Yeah. Estella. She wants, she she's, comes over to you and she's a sweetheart, by the way. I would imagine. She comes over to you and says, I need to speak to the man that last saw my son. Is she crying? Yeah, of course she's she is. Probably crying. She doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. My dad's trying to comfort her. My dad doesn't know what the fuck. You My dad doesn't so understand bad. technology at all. I love him. I love you, Dad. You know you don't. You'll admit it. He'll think that it was some sort of technological thing, like what are those damn iPhones. He did a technological okay. thing. Yeah, the iPhone pulled him into space. Me, <laughs> I knew it. But like, my mom comes to you and says. I hear that, that you are the man. I don't know why I give her an accent. She doesn't have an accent. You always give your mom a crazy, a thick accent. She doesn't have an too. accent. She doesn't. <laughs> I heard that you're the, the man that saw my son last. What did he say to you? He what said he that say? his time here is done. Then I went home. <laughs> That's what I would say. He <laughs> said his time here is done. He shot up into the sky. I got in my car. I went to Chipotle. Then I went home. That's what I would say to your mom. And then I'd be like, I'm wearing flowers? Is that what you do? Because we haven't hung out, but I hung out with your son. What if I my, probably what if, my mom, what if my mom was like, what if my mom was like, I needed you to be a little bit more surprised he went up in the space. <laughs> Would you I wait? Would, feel would bad. you do like take two and try to do it again with more surprise? Oh wait, I, you were his mom. Oh, I didn't hear that before. Um, I was like. Whoa, what is happening to my best friend? And he's gone and he was the best. I bet this his is, mom is so sad. Guys, the Academy Awards are right here. That was pretty good, right? That was really Why good. Why would you go? How could you even eat? How could you go to Chipotle after seeing something like that? Probably hungry? Dinner time? <laughs> That's <laughs> how. So would you Mike, think about it a lot? Mike is so <laughs> insensitive to your mom. But let's say, okay, let's take you know, my mom and dad out of the equation. Let's take my mom and dad out of the equation. <laughs> okay. Weeks have gone by. Yeah. National Geographic is reaching out to you. I got it. Stephen I'm on Hawking. The couch. Stephen I'm on Hawking the couch. wants to talk. Stephen Hawking wants to meet you. Wow. Because like you've witnessed a phenomenon that no one ever has witnessed, okay. and yeah. and everyone believes you now because I'm missing. There was camera footage outside of the building. When oh does great. He, okay. When does he want to meet? He wants to meet you right now, like right away. Obama wants to meet you too. Oh well, yeah. Dude, I have like Tuesdays and Fridays. I put out videos. I know, but. <laughs> But like Stephen Hawking wants to meet you. You think you can put your little vlog on, on if hold? If I today <laughs> looked at this camera and said, I'd like to meet Stephen Hawking, do you think he'd put any of his schedule on hold? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm supposed to. All right, let's to, say. I'm I supposed to this clear. Okay, 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 okay. Let's say Stephen Hawking's person contacts you and says, "What is the best available time for you for Stephen Hawking I to come in and see you?" Steve Zaragoza has inconvenienced my life <laughs> in his apparent death. Shooting <laughs> off into the stars. He didn't die, he transcended. <laughs> transcended. We don't know what happened. See? No one knows what happened. Okay. So Stephen Hawking comes to you <laughs> and he says, Mike, what happened? Please? This was a really long story so that Steve could do a Steve Hawking. It's impression. totally not. Let's make it someone else. <laughs> it's all. Let's make it someone else. Neil deGrasse Tyson comes <laughs> and he says, I must know yeah. what happened. I, Tell me in great detail. I would. I want to know your emotions as well. Hungry. <laughs> hungry, and, hungry, and a little bit. I would be a little okay. bit confused, but it wouldn't stop me from doing anything I was gonna do that <laughs> night, the day after, a week and a half afterwards. This guy. I don't know what you're I don't it know wouldn't what affect right your. You he wants. For he me, wants you to answer how I would answer <laughs> is what he wants. I I'm would never either. be the same. If I saw you disappear in the space. I know, because everything... I would never be the Everything same. that you thought was true would be in question. My world would be upside down. Yeah. Upside it, down. It would everything. be switched, in fact. It would take hours yeah. before I could eat Chipotle. Huh. I wouldn't be able to drive straight if to I, Chipotle. If I, saw, if I saw that happen and it was you... And it was me. I would, I would freak out, but I would freak out like, moment of calm, and then... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I would run immediately back in this office and be like, guys, guys, Steve just transcended and if Steve can go to heaven, anybody can! <laughs> Am I allowed to ask questions? Yeah. yeah. If he skyrocketed into space with like a little smirk on his mouth. I had a and smile. And the last thing he said to you was, my time here is done. You wouldn't feel great I would be like, that? And maybe Steve is the second coming. Well, she would definitely. See, yeah. you're like, putting all your, yeah. All I put all this stuff in, and I would talk to everybody, and I would be that crazy bitch that mm -hmm. everyone's interviewing. Yeah, let's say the Pope wants to meet you. The Pope wants to meet you. Oh my God! Yes. See, here's. This I would is cancel exactly all the vlogs See, and meet with all of them. This is exactly what happens because then you get so into your mind, you start fumbling over your words, and mm -hmm. you, you question everything. You're like, did you I know? really see what I think that I saw? Exactly. But then the newscasters come over to your house. You have all these. Interviews with people and you're talking all batshit crazy. Yeah, you like, are batshit crazy. Meanwhile, me, I'm just on my couch. Like, I, yeah, he was gone and then I had a burrito. <laughs> they would sure. definitely believe you. I'm the more you. credible source. Oh, so you're saying that no matter what, then you're gonna tell people that like, whatever, man, he shot up into space. What can I say? Yeah, yeah. that's what he said. <laughs> that's exactly it. What would you do, Steve? Steve my life what would, you do? would change. Now my how? How like, would you change? I would change? be like, got a weak heart. I would say yes. I witnessed probably <laughs> the most amazing thing that's ever happened on Earth. Talk to me. Let's talk yeah, about. It. <laughs> Steve and I are both like, hey, cameras over here. I yeah, got this. talk to me. <laughs> like I would want. Like I don't know though. Like I would want to figure it out. I would want. Look, look Will's jacket is shedding all over. Me. Right? I don't. I don't like it. What I don't know. Fake Real leathers. bad material. <laughs> Dandruff sleeves. Here, wait, is there a, on the inside, does it tell you it's made in China? Hold on. Hold on. It's made in well, space. Well, you, <laughs> you can iron it. As soon as um, we find that out. So, Mike, what if, <laughs> what if? Oh, okay. What if I, what if after all of this? H&M. It's been two years since you saw me shoot up into space. Yeah. It's wool and polyester and rayon. It's been two years it's since so you've seen me shoot up into space, yeah. okay? Fast forward to two years. In fact, let's say five years. Okay, I've forgotten about it by five years. You think so? Do you think years? for sure you've forgotten about it in five years? No, I wouldn't forget Mike something. doesn't like you that much. That's no, what he's saying. I really forget like it. I has, I is has, this where this is going? No, no, I really <laughs> like you. Let's say I, let's say. I would be sad if <laughs> you died. I don't know what you're trying to get at. You have, you would you think I was dead? Up. Let me ask you three more questions. Oh God, we need to pick a, t a question on the bowl. We've only done one this whole table talk. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. Would you think I, I will pick a question? Would guys. you think I was dead? Would you think I was dead? No, I think you were happy at home and sleeping. <laughs> okay, Crimson Phoenix fifteen eighteen says, "What events in history do you hope to live long enough to see?" There was uh, someone uh, shoot up in his face. In the I want to see someone shoot up them. in his face. Uh, what is something you don't want to see happen? Okay, so th these are two questions. You cheated. Crimson Phoenix yeah. 1818. So we'll pick one, answer whichever one you like. What events in history do you hope to live long enough to see? <laughs> and what is something you don't want to see? You can pick one or the other. I don't want to see the sun explode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I would not. You can't look right at that anyways. I don't think we, well, I don't think humans will be alive to see it. You don't, do you think we'll die before know. that? You don't think that'll be the like end of I feel like so many Earth? other things will be wrong with the planet by the time the sun's ready we'll to We'll have killed each other off. Because I feel like, and, and also, isn't the sun just going to crash into Earth? Is it going to crash into Earth or is it going to explode? Because the I sun's a explodes. star, right? It yeah, explodes. it explodes. We have, okay, so that's the sun. DJ's doing explodes. this. So it's probably <laughs> a slow, so let's say the Earth spans. And, so, yeah. and then it contracts. And then uh -huh. it explodes. And then it becomes a black hole. Okay, so by the time it's going to explode, it's probably way big, and where everyone <laughs> on Earth is cooked. Way small. Science. It expands. People have already been dead by then. Oh well, by the first expansion. By the time it yeah. expands, yeah, I think the Earth's been cooked. And the sun gets that expansion. Well, that's what I mean. Up. I don't want to be here when the Earth cooks. Yeah. That's that's the part I don't want to see. I'd like to live to see proof of extraterrestrial. Beings. Oh, damn it. I want to live to see a like a maybe like a new you Earth do? or like aliens or something. Yeah. New Earth. I. Let's go move to Nerf. Let's move to Nerf. Nerf. They're new trees. Or like Nouveau live, Earth. Or very how about this? <laughs> live to see teleportation. How about that? I would love that. Sure. That's cool. I always think of like the first teleport. It's been done a million times, but when like you teleport for the first time and your arm comes out of your yeah, yeah the whatever. particles yeah, yeah, yeah. are reassembled incorrectly. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to be that person. Did you guys ever see the fly? Little David Cronenberg. No, but film. I've heard you talk yeah, about it all the time. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. There's a scene where he's testing out his like <laughs> trans whatever his like teleportation <laughs> devices, and he has a baboon that he tries to transport from one pod to the other, and then it transports the baboon to the other pod, and it basically comes back inside out. Yeah. Okay. And it kills that baboon. Oops. Okay. Oopsie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, death. You know. Um, the movie's pretty rad though. Now I feel like mine are too similar. To, to yours, which I'm sorry for not being original enough, but I, okay. I wouldn't want to see, uh, I would want to see the natural destruction of Earth. You would. Because I think if you're gonna be around when the world, when I say the second one, it'll make more sense. I would not okay. like to see like the man-made destruction. I see. So I wouldn't want to, oh, there's the bomb that's gonna, and we're that's all done. gonna be bad. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah, wanna yeah. see that. But I would like to see the Earth open up. If I had to be, you think about it like, if you're on Earth when the Earth ends, you were supposed to be there when the Earth ends. Yeah. So I'd at least want like a good seat until I couldn't yeah. be anymore. You want wow. those, you want yeah, those I mean, hot tickets. No way to seats. get out of that. Mm -hmm. So you might as well have a good scene. You don't want yeah. nosebleeds to the end of the world. No, I want to be able to see it. Yeah. Almost think that I could try to stop it for well, a second. And like if, if like, the sidewalk was like, no, give me your sidewalk. If but the world ends and some people survive, you don't want to be one of the no, survivors. No, 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 definitely not. The, Wait, yeah, so you yeah, want, that's my front row. You're gone. Yeah, you're instantly. gone right away. So you, I agree you, with that. You would yeah. actually attempt to save the human race if you could? If it was the matter of like, if I make a human bridge, he on the puts sidewalk, his body in front of whatever it is that destroys right. Earth. So Trisha it's interesting can get that to the Dwayne Wade right across the street. What's it's interesting to me that. is that it does seem like you have a heart, and you, but you wouldn't care about me being shot into space and not thinking. Oh about my that. god! Did I, can we, did I ever say that I wouldn't care <laughs> about him? No, he just he just assumed that. Right. From he your said, answer. "What would your reaction would be?" I said, "You, you guys, go to get your car. Steve, oh, Steve's gone. Me. Bye. Get my car. Chipotle time. This I'm is, hungry. Let's, let's talk about caring about this people. This is Steve's time for Chipotle. Of, Does my butt look fat in this? No, yeah. it's not. No, it's question. not. It's my version of so that you can go. You? Oh my God, I miss you so much. <laughs> oh, Stevie, what would I do without no, you? That's not what I want to oh, say. Forever, me too. Listen, no. I just want you to dedicate your life to figuring out what happened. That's no, all I'm asking. I got a <laughs> and goals of things I need to do. So, guys, if Steve transcended <laughs> into the great beyond, what would you do? How hard would you cry and for how long? No, I don't care about the crying. He needs it. I just want you to be affected in some way because how? you witnessed someone uh -huh. shoot up into space. How many interviewers would you talk to and would you take an appointment from Stephen Hawking? Let us know <laughs> yes in the no. comments <laughs> down below. What if President Obama wanted to come talk to you about it? I would talk to Obama. What would you tell him? I'd be like, you seem like a cool guy. And then he'd, he'd be like trying to get yeah. at that the yeah, whole time yeah. and I'd be talking to him about other stuff. Yeah. You ever well, go come on, man. Night? You saw a guy shoot up into space. Tell me about it. Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm here. Well, to tell you the truth, it wasn't that much. I got in my car and I got a freedom. <laughs> yeah, but what happened? Like, were you freaked out for a no, day? No, man, he just... He shot up and I figured, well, that's that. He's not coming back, so what am I gonna do? Stand in that parking lot? Did floor? you have any nightmares or were you scared? Steve no. sounds just like Obama right now. <laughs> and, then, and, then Obama, and then Obama zips off and it's me and I'm like, fuck you, Mike. <laughs> Nothing. Fuck you, All asshole. I shot up in his face. You didn't give a shit. No. I did it for you. I only had one and I thought you were gonna react to it. You see, 
Pick a better exit line then. Be like, tell everybody about this. <laughs> Don't say my work here is done. So if I had said, <laughs> help, anything I, else, <laughs> almost anything else would be better. What if I had said, oh no! <laughs> See, that's totally, what? I would stay in that spot for months. <laughs> Because I said my, my work here is done. Yeah. You were at peace, so he was at peace. All right, I'll accept That's that. That's like when you're an EMT and you're like, yo, if you see someone's bones sticking through their skin, don't panic. Just yeah. say, listen, your bones sticking through your. You your tell skin. them for sure their bones sticking through. Yeah, but in like a way, like in a in a way that like Levar mm -hmm. Burton would do it. Oh, mm -hmm. I love it. Bones mm -hmm. sticking through your skin. All right. Well, I feel like I would. That that's the answer I was looking for. I think you just. I I feel satisfied. With good this guys. Now. Steve is like, satisfied now. I am satisfied, We're resolved. Guys. We feel. I feel good. <laughs> you feel good. Ego. Thanks for watching Table Talk, guys. If you want to submit some topics to the bowl, use the hashtag Table Talk. Maybe we'll get. Maybe to your, we'll get to more than two of them. Next yeah. time. Yeah. I'm sorry. I had to ask him. I had to ask him. I, I think it was important. Yeah. You're hilarious. It was a lot about you and less about the people. <laughs> That's what I think. I'm, I'm team people. <coughs> Steve woke up this morning with a burning desire to ask you that question. Can I tell you something? I asked Owen the same thing. And I've, Owen, of course you I've did. known Owen for like 10 years. Yeah. And Owen said almost exactly the same thing. Owen wouldn't He's care. like, I'd go home and be like, all right, well, I'm just. <laughs> You know? I got some thinking to do. No, he was like, no. I feel like I'd forget about it in a month or something. I was like, what? You witnessed someone do something that it has never been done. Yeah. Right? You, you can't. Because you can go to Universal Studios and see shit that you don't see every day. Yeah, but you can explain it. I don't feel like I need to explain it. I can't explain the stuff at Universal Studios. I can't explain the Simpsons ride. It used to be the Back to the Future ride. Explain that. It's a big projector with a moving car yeah. you sit in. See, that's not fun at all. Let's go get a burrito. So, um, it's... <laughs>